parents who are stressed have been shown not to be able to be as attuned to their infants and children as parents who are not stressed. Not their fault. Not because they don't love the child. Not because they're not dedicated, devoted, committed. Simply because the stress effect impedes their ability not to love their child, but to attune with their child. So that mutual responsiveness is interfered with. And that has an impact on brain development. There's an important chemical called dopamine. Dopamine is essential for motivation and attention. Now you take infant monkeys and you measure their dopamine levels in the front part of the brain and you find it to be normal. Separate them from their mothers, those dopamine levels have diminished. In other words, the child's brain chemistry is affected by the unavailability of the mother. And this is true even if the mother is physically there but emotionally absent. Imagine two tuning forks, like in this very famous still face experiment. The mother is one tuning fork, and it starts vibrating. And the baby's tuning fork begins to vibrate in unison with hers. And when that happens, gradually its own prefrontal cortex gets tuned. So it becomes empathic. It begins to relate to the mother. Infants don't understand words. So they respond to body language. So is my mother rigid or relaxed? Is she afraid? Because if she's afraid, I am, because she's my protector. If she's afraid, who's gonna protect me? The size of the mother's pupils, the mother's voice. Is it confident and relaxed or is it tense? There's not conscious thoughts, but this is the infant's experience. Depressed mothers, or even worse, um, schizophrenic mothers, they are not in synchrony. The baby is getting the message that there's something wrong with it. Its prefrontal cortex is not going to be tuned properly. So that baby is going to develop a kind of depressive personality. Okay. I'm here. And what are you doing? Oh, yes. Oh. The monkeys tell us more about the severe effects of infant deprivation. The ones that were reared in isolation just don't behave normally when they're finally given a playmate. They rarely touch. And when they do, the contact's surprisingly vicious. Children who are emotionally inhibited will become dysfunctional adults. They will have difficulty learning and will be more hostile. And that starts right in the womb.